there's so much going on in these little eyes that help us see. Let's take a minute to take a closer look at that diagram of the eye so we can um, go over those um, vocab words one more time so that we make sure that we have a really good understanding of what's going on. All right, here we go. Here's a representation of what our eyes look like on the inside. Let's take a look at one word at a time and talk about what it does to help us see. So we are going to start with a cornea, which you'll see is right here. It's this orange part right here that I'm highlighting in black. That is a clear lens on the outside of our eye that allows light to get into the eye. Does that make sense? Um, I think it'll make more sense once we look at the rest of the, the words. Let's move on to iris. Iris is the circular structure that allows a certain amount of light to get in. So if I'm looking at my eye, so you see the white part, right? But then you see that bluish green circle, that's the iris. And then if we look at the pupil, that is that black dot in the middle. Now the important thing to remember about the iris and the pupil is that the iris um, contracts and expands the pupil depending on how much light it's, it's taking in. So if you are in a darker environment, then, then the um, iris is going to expand your pupil and make it really big so that there can be more light let in. And if you're in a uh, really bright environment, your pupil is going to get so that your eye isn't damaged by too much light. I'm actually going to stop sharing my screen for one moment to show you to show you um, how you can see that adjustment in real time because it's really cool. All right, I'm going to take my glasses off for this. So try this with me, okay? Try this in a mirror. Put your hand over one eye. Now this eye is detecting that it's really, really dark. So even though I can't see it right now, my iris is making my pupil bigger and bigger so that it can try to take in more light so it can try to see in the dark. Now, when I take my hand away, it's going to suddenly react to the amount of light that it's getting. So we should be able to see my pupil or the black part of my eye gets smaller. I'm going to get really close to the camera and see if we can't see this happening. It's going to happen really fast. So really make sure you look ready. Did it happen? I was looking at the camera and not the screen, but try it with yourself because most of the time it really, really works. Oh yeah, I thought it happened there. Did you see it? It's so cool. That's why, like, have you ever gotten up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water or use the bathroom and then you turn on the light and you're like, ah, oh, and it hurts your eyes so bad. That's because your eyes were really used to how dark it was in your dark bedroom. So your pupils got really big. And then when you flipped on the lights, they took a second to adjust and too much light got in your eye. But then it stops hurting after a minute, right? Because your pupils adjust. Make sense? Um, let's go back to our diagram. All right, so we've discussed the cornea and the pupil and the iris. Let's continue moving further inside the eye and talk about the lens, which is this pink looking part right here. So once the light goes through the cornea and then through the pupil, it hits the lens and the lens is at the back of the eye right behind the pupil and it helps focus and unfocus on what you're looking at. Kind of like what um, that video showed us with the pen. 
it's the pens in focus when it's far away, right? But when we bring it closer, our eyes need to adjust so it looks fuzzy. Have you ever been reading and like looking really closely at a piece of paper and focusing really hard and then all of a sudden look up at like maybe the whiteboard across the room and for a moment, the whiteboard looks really fuzzy? That's because it takes a minute for your lens to adjust between looking at something that's really close to you versus something that's really far away from you. Does that make sense? I know I keep asking that because there's a lot of information to take in here, um, but it's so fascinating. So what happens after the light hits the lens? It goes to the retina here, this purple part. So what the retina does is that it converts the light that went through, that entered your eye, and it converts it into an electric, an, an, into an electronic signal. Right. The human body is so crazy, amazing, and cool. <laughs> so once the retina converts that light into a um, electric signal, then it hits the optic nerve, and the optic nerve is what sends that electric signal to the brain. That's obviously a picture of a brain. That's not look like it. So again, let's go really quick through the pathway that light takes through your eye. I'll keep it pink. All right. So you've got a little light bulb here. Right? That's what a light bulb looks like? Use your imagination. Okay, so we've got a light bulb. And the light first goes through your cornea, that clear lens. Then it goes through the pupil because the iris makes it the exact right size and the exact right amount of light. And then it hits the lens, which focuses the image, focuses the light. Then it goes over to the retina which converts that light into an electronic signal. And then it goes through the optic nerve, which sends that electronic signal to our amazing elastic brain. What? <laughs> it's so cool. All right, that's all I'm gonna talk about today. Um, once we get on Zoom together, we're going to discuss this a little bit more in detail. Um, and then we're going to talk about it a little more throughout the week. But for right now, this is what I want us to focus on. Come to Zoom with any questions, any observations you have after listening to this. And we'll see you there. Bye.